So we're going to take you through how we do our frames. So first of all, these frames are from Dalrymple Apri Supplies in Queensland, Australia. They're made from locally grown and harvested hoop pine. And I think the thing we like about these is that they're of nice, clean, uh, stable timber with very little, very little knots and actually virtually no knots in them. So which means that that they're very stable. So unlike some of the other frames we've tried, the cheaper ones, which buckle and warp, these are very stable, so they hold their shape. And uh, Dave's just gonna take you through how we put them together. Um, I guess starting with the equipment and the setup. Okay, equipment wise, we've just got a compressor, which is over there, which is uh, pretty standard. This is just a standard, nice cheap um, tool X um, staple gun. It'll take up to a 25 mil staple, all right run on air, this runs at about 28 pounds per square inch. Then you go into the staples, now the staples are, um, I think these are 28 mil long, okay. They're uh, Airco, is the, the brand that we're using. Um, <coughs> the gun's easy enough to load, it's just a normal gun, you pull back, drop all your staples into here, there's a few staples in there at the moment, so I won't worry about it. Um, close it back up and it's ready to go. Um, now with these, what, I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll get a handful of maybe 14 or so, I've got big hands so I can get a lot of them. I'll just grab a handful like so and then I'll start to run the glue down either side. Not too much, this is probably maybe a tad too much but just a little bit along the tops. Just flip them over, all right, same again. Run a little bit down either side, a little bit through the middle, and that's basically ready to uh, put together. This is the particular glue we're using at the moment, an ABS. Uh, it's, um, it's a water-based uh, glue, um, and we're finding this particular glue to be quite good because we don't have it running all over the place. It's got a good consistency and you haven't got it all over your hands and all over the board. So it congeals. Okay. It congeals well. Pretty quick. This template here is something that I've just made up. This is so that um, when you're actually putting the frames together and stapling them together, we can just push the frames into the, the headboard and the sideboard and I know every time without looking that the frame will then be dead square. So um, it's pretty simple, it's just a bit of ply that's cut dead square and then a bit of timber put on either end, just screwed in so that we we know that every time we uh, make a frame it's nice and square and it'll hang nicely in the box. And we'll also go through the uncapper machine without getting twisted or tangled up. And you've just got some packers there? To <coughs> These packers the here, just because the your bottom, bottom part of your frame is slightly narrower, narrower then your head, so basically you can see the difference there. That puts it, that puts this to centre yep. once it's all together. Okay, now we've already got the glue on this, so what I'd normally do is grab the head of the frame, pick up two of the sides, and then I'll just push them in. Push it in like that, push that one in. Little tap, doesn't need too much. Then get the bottom of the frame, just push that end in, push that one in. Again, just a tap, bit of a knock like that, just to make sure you've got them all tightly closed together. And then it's a case of just picking up the staple gun and stapling it. If you have a look, you can see this top bar's tight against that side, and the side bar is tighter down this, tight down this side, so that makes my frame perfectly square. I'll flip it over. Same, just make sure it's pushed in, head and sides. Hold it there with this hand if you want. And again, put the staple through, we staple through the side. It, it helps uh, stop pulling top bars off when you're drawing the frames out of your honey boxes and supers. Okay. Put the hive tool. The hive tool, that's right. We'll do another one. So I get the head bar, two sides, just push them in. Just to make sure they are in tight. Bottom bar, squeeze him in. Tap, tap. And same again, just push him in, make him nice and tight. Now we have two nice 
nice frame, so it's perfectly square. Just drop them into the box gently, let the glue go off, and that's the way they'll stay until we uh, clip the plastics in and get them all waxed up. So Dave, how many frames have you made in your sleep? <laughs> I think we're, we've got a lot of boxes, so <laughs> when I go to sleep at night, I can still see the frames so I've happening. just painted 50 more for you over there, so they've yeah. got to be filled up today. today. Yeah, that'll be another 500. <laughs> you better stop yakking and get on with it. <laughs> yeah.